I'm not going to ask you to comment legally, although I know you probably do know, um, you know, being a professor of media and public affairs, the legal rights that Evan had. And when it tr transformed into what that woman called failure to comply, which ultimately was not charged as, it was charged as disorderly conduct and criminal trespass. Yeah, I, I wasn't in the room. Like you said earlier, you, you had your TV eyes there, so did I. Uh, I would have liked to have been in the room. I'd like to know a lot more what took place. But as I say, I've been in the White House in situations like you describe. I've been in the back of rooms very much like the, the one that, that your, your intrepid reporter was in the back of today, covering stories very much like that. Usually, the police, law enforcement, understand what you're doing. They're actually trying to maintain order in the midst of this same crisis. Usually, not only do they understand what you're doing as a reporter, they want to support that because they want clear information to get out to the public. So something went really weirdly off the rails here from my assessment of this. And as I say, the big question I have is, where did this order come from? Was this just somebody who took it upon themselves and then it sort of escalated in place? Or was, was somebody, you know, running some kind of interference for what they thought the governor wanted? Because the governor also, in his statement, quickly distanced himself with this. He said, I didn't authorize this. So there's some sensitivity here. But, I, you know, as I say, the, this is a press conference. Press conference is a public event. And um, the acoustics of that room, as I look at that room, is a big gymnasium kind of thing. You know, so there could be some echo and bounce and all of that. But um, from what I could tell, it, it didn't seem to be intrusive. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.